Pare, Luiz. Pari Luis, good morning, and welcome to this live broadcast of the Divine Liturgy of the Armenian Church, celebrated at St. Vartan Armenian Cathedral in New York City. This is a special occasion in the Armenian Church, the major feast day of the Christian calendar, Easter Sunday, or Surp Zadig in Armenian. It's the celebration of the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ and his victory over sin and death. It's a theme that is especially meaningful today after the trials and tribulations of recent years. But on this Easter morning, St. Vartan Cathedral is blessed by the presence of faithful worshipers, a complement of choir singers and deacons, and of course our celebrant for this occasion, His Grace Bishop Mesrop Parsamian, the primate of the Eastern Diocese of the Armenian Church of America. Today marks his first Easter celebration since his consecration as a bishop of the Armenian Church by the hand of His Holiness Karakin II, the Catholicos of all Armenians. That wonderful event happened in October of last year, about a year and a half after he was elected as the 13th primate of the Eastern Diocese. In between those events, as people are aware, our primate spent months recovering from injuries he sustained in a car accident However, I am very happy to say he will be on the altar today, as he was last year, celebrating the liturgy, delivering the homily, and leading the special ceremony that will conclude today's Easter service. More on that later. Of course, we all feel blessed by his recovery. The Lord surely answered the prayers of our community, and we will continue to pray today for everyone in need of recovery and healing. We are also blessed by the presence of you, our viewing audience, if you're listening to my words, you are a part of the Badarak today. Our viewers hail from across the country and around the world. But wherever you are, on this of all days, we are all joined spiritually with each other and with our Lord. My name is Christopher Zakian, and it is my privilege to spend this time with all of you. Needless to say, the past year was a very solemn time for Armenians, a period of long material and spiritual suffering in Armenia, culminating in the terrible loss of a precious and holy part of our homeland, Artsakh, and the exile of its people. Today, over 100,000 of our sisters and brothers from Artsakh find themselves as refugees, trying to resettle and rebuild their lives in the Republic of Armenia. Our prayers this Easter are especially directed at them and their well-being. Easter, however, is above all an occasion of joy and hope, and no power on earth can alter that. So I welcome our viewers with the words of the great Armenian greeting, Christos Haryav Imerelots, Christ is risen from the dead. Bishop Mesrob will shortly enter the sanctuary in a procession of deacons to confer his blessing on the worshipers, and what a welcome sight that will be. Thank you for viewing. Thank you. 
օգնություն եւ հարկ հոր եւ օրթո եւ օգնույն սրփո այժմ եւ միշտ եւ հավիտյանս հավիտենից ամեն Սրպությանը <speaking in foreign language> Ադեցի ես ժողովս չարած եւ ընտանփարիշս ես ոչ նստայից։ Լվացի Հոստովանի մարաչի աստուծո եւ սրբովո 
եւ հաստատեսե համենայն քորձս բարիս եւ հանկուսես քեսի հանթերցյալ գյանսն ամեն ազատեսեվս ես մարտասեր աստված եւ փոխցես ամենայն հանցանսեր դասեր ժամանակ աշխարելով քորձելոս բարիս ուղեսե եւ զարաճիկա գյանսը շնորհոցում փոխուի հզորն եւ օր մազն եւ նմա փար քավի գյանս Շեշիր եւ զմե Սարաչյան Մաքարին Աստուծո Շալիչի Գարաչյան Մաքարին Աստուծո Իմեջ տաճարիս եւ առաջի աստված ընկալ եւ բայց առաջի ասուտ նշանացս եւ սուբ խորանույս խոնարիալ երկյուղի երկիր բականենք ասուրբ սրաշալի եւ սաղթող սարություն ըդքո Քրիստոս աստված մեր օրնենք եւ փառավորենք եւ քեզ մատուցանեմ զորնություն եւ սփառը սնթոր եւ ընթոք վույց սրփո այժմ եւ միշտ եւ հավիտյան սավիտենից ամեն մդից առաջի սեղանու աստուծո առաստված որ ուրախ առնես մանգությունի ատարային զաստված եւ իրավարային դիտատաստանի մոմ հասկե որ ոչ է սուրբի մարդո մեղավորեն ենքա որը փրգյազիս Առաքյադերս լույս քո եւ ես ճշմարտություն քո զիարաշ նոր տեսեն ինձ եւ հանցեն զիսի լարն սուր եւ իհարգս քո մդից առաջի սերանո ասուցո առաստված ուրախ ազնես մանգությունի խոստովան եղես քեզ օրտնությամ աստված աստված իմ ա սնդես ասում ես անցնիմ կամ ընդերս պրովեսիս ցուցար առաստված խոստովանյանը մա ոչ <Sessizlik> Ամենակալ տերասված մեր կեցուս է եւ որ մեսին իհարկի քում սրփության եւ իդեղ ոչ սփառապանության հրեշտակած բնագարանից եւ մարդկան քավարանից առաջի աստված ընկալ եւ բայց զարացի ասուտ նշանացս Եսուր դեղույս Խոնարյալ երգյուղե երգիր բականը ասուր բսրաշալի եւ սախթող ըս հարություն ըդ քորտնեմ եւ փառավորենք եւ քեզն եկնային զորսն մատուցանենք զորնություն եւ սփառը սնթոր եւ ընթոք բույց սրփոր Այժմ եւ միշտ եւ ավիդյան սավիտենից ամեն Ամենական բարելավ մարտասեր աստված ոլորից օրինով երևույթից եւ ամերևույթ փրկող եւ
The Divine Liturgy is our most important act of worship in the Armenian Church. As I said, this is the most important act of worship in the Armenian Church, the Divine Liturgy. The entire liturgy is a symbolic reenactment of the life and ministry of Jesus Christ. In particular, it is the Church's way of representing the Last Supper, when Jesus blessed bread and wine as his own body and blood, which were to be sacrificed the following day on the cross. And he told his followers to repeat this act to do this in remembrance of me. The Badarak is the continuation of that act of remembrance and communion with Jesus Christ. You'll notice the curtain is closed at this time to symbolize the fact that the Son of God was mystically conceived and born of the Holy Virgin Mary. But there are important actions going on behind the curtain right now concerning the preparation of the gifts of bread and wine. Following this preparation, the curtain will open and the celebrant will descend into the sanctuary. That procession is symbolic of Christ moving among his people as a teacher during his ministry. And this being Easter, it'll be the first time we hear the great Easter greeting of the Armenian Church, Christos Haryav Imerelos, Christ is raised from the dead. Christos 
Takavoruchunan hor ye vort vo ye vok muin serpo Aichum ye mishte vavidya savidenits amen Christos Maria
Lucion, ye parkor, ye vortvo, ye vok muin serpo. Aish mi emish ye vavit yana sabidenit amen. Chaga Lucion, amen etzon. Աստված մեր որոգարողությունը դանքնին է և պարկը դանասանելի, որով ողորմությունը դան չապ է և կտություն անպամ, թու աստարատ մարդասիրության ըտքում նայած ի ժողովուրդը սկո և իդաջարը ծայսուր, Եվ ընտաղոտագից ասմեն առադաբես զողորմություն կո եվ սկտություն, զիկ է զվայել է պարկ իշխանություն եվ բադիվ այժմ եվ միշտ եվ ավիդյանը սավիդենից ամեն։ We have begun the second part of the liturgy called the Synaxis, which is the teaching part of the liturgy. Shortly we're going to see the deacon raise the gospel book, and that marks the beginning of the lesser entrance, which symbolizes the entrance of the word of God among his people. And that's when we'll hear the scripture readings of the day. Deacon will ask us to pay special attention to the gospel or the good news, the Avedis in Armenian, of the Lord, for this is Jesus himself talking with his people. And then immediately following the scripture reading, we'll hear the Nicene Creed, the Havadamk, which was written in the fourth century at the first two ecumenical councils of the worldwide Christian church. It's the summary of fundamental Christian beliefs sort of the constitution of Christian orthodoxy. In its essentials, the Nicene Creed is something all the ancient apostolic churches hold in common. And you'll hear versions of it in Catholic and Orthodox churches. The variations between the churches are small but consequential, often the result of separation through the centuries, but the basic doctrines expressed convey the foundation for the theological understandings of our churches. Zikoe garogotion yev zorotion yev parkavidians. Amen.
զիվողոր մած եւ մարդասեր ես աստված գոլով եւ կեզվայելը փար գիշխանություն եւ բադիվ այժմ եւ միշտ եւ հավիտյանը սավիտենից ամեն ալելույա ալելույա ես որ աստված մեր ռոսկում է ասի աստված ընթերցում քորս քարակելոց գիրքեն առաջին պատմությունը քրի արի ո թեոֆիլոս հոլոր այն փաներու մասին Զոր Հիսուսը սկսավներ եւ ուսուցանել մինչև այն օրը եւ սուր փոքի միջոցո բաց վեր դվավարականներուն Զորին կընդրազեր եւ համբարձավ ան իր չարչանակներեն հետո ինքսին կենթանի ներկայացուց անոնց արջև 40 օրերու ընթացքին երևնալով անոնց զարմանալի շատ քորձերով եւ խոսելով աստուծո արքայության մասին Եվ անոնց հետ հացով հաղորդվելով բաց վեր դվավ անոնց որ Երուսաղեմեն չմեկնին այլ սպասեն հորը ավետիսին զորսավան լսեցիք ինձ մե Որովհետեւ Հովաներ ճուրո մգրդեց հայստուկ այս օրերեն շատ ճանցած բիդի մգրդվիք սուր փոքիով եւ անոնք մոդենալով հարցուցին անոր ուսին դեր այս ժամանակից մեջ պիտի վերահաստատես իսրայելի թակավորությունը Հիսուս Սավանոնց ծեզի դրված չեք իտնալ այն ժամերը եւ ժամանակները զոր հայրը հաստատեց իր իշխանության մեջ այեւ սուր փոքին իշտեցեր վրա զորություն պիտի արնեք եւ բգաներ պիտի լակ ինձի համար Երուսաղեմի մեջ ամբողջ հրեաստանի ու սամարյայի մեջ եւ մինչև երկրի ծայրերը ամեն ալելույա ալելույա a reading from the acts of the apostles the former account i made o theophilus of all that jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up after he through the holy spirit had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen to whom he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proofs being seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of god and being assembled together with them he commanded them not to depart from jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the father which he said you have heard from me for john truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the holy spirit not many days from now therefore when they had come together they asked him saying lord will you at this time restore the kingdom to israel and he said to them it is not for you to know times or seasons which the father has put in his own authority but you shall receive power when the holy spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in jerusalem and in judea and samaria and to the end of the earth amen <laughs> Yes, 
Vasen har du tjan, djaren med av, Jesus i Kristus i. Mi har köpat i arabotor, har i vatsa kinkeres man i kan. U i raroka sein, av mes i hamar, piti galor e kara, keres man i hidernen. Բայց նայել ով տեսան, որ կարը մեկ տիկ լորված էր գերեզման են, որով է տեպ շատ մեծ էր։ գերեզման են ներս մտներով, տեսան երտասարդմը, որ աչկողմը նստաց էր, սպիտակ պատմուջան մահակած և զար հուրեցան ու անսավան ոնց։ Մի վախնակ, խաչված նազովրեցի Հիսուսը կպնդրետ, այն հարություն առավ հոշչ է ատեղը որզայն դրված է ին։ Բայց կացեք ասեկանոր աշակերտերոն և պետրոսի։ թե անձեզ մի առաջ գալիլիակ երթա, հոն վիտի տեսնեք զինք, ինչպես որ ասաց էր ձեզի։ Եվ երբ լսեցին գերեզման են ելան և պախան, որով էտ էվ զարհուրած էին։ Եվ ոչ մեկ ու բանասին, կանի կբաղ։
Voce Gortin, Kamen Yer Femen Horjam, Voce Turkotin, Yer Kebo Gorimichen, Kamen Yer Gin, Zankisisan Nazobe, Katovik Yevarakela Kan Sutje Gereci. Iskmek Paravores Sukur Arachkan Savidian, Sir Gilva Kanelos, Sir Poyer of Suchian, and Yevnias Vazuchian, Hor Yevors Boyer of Quinser Po, Aisham Yevnish Yevavidian, Savidenis, Amen.
We have completed the teaching part of the liturgy, the synaxis, where we met God through his words. And now we're moving on to the holy sacrifice, the most important part of the liturgy, where we'll meet God in a very different way. In the early years of the church, this was a great mystery, a secret. So those who were not baptized, called the catechumens, or even those who were in a state of penance, were not permitted to remain for the holy sacrifice. What we're about to see is the bread and wine brought by the deacon to the celebrant in what is called the great entrance. It's the dramatic focal point of the liturgy where the chalice containing the elements of communion, the body and blood of Christ, is greeted, greeted with great solemnity and maybe even a little trembling on the part of the celebrant and congregation. You'll notice that Bishop Mesrob the celebrant has removed his crown and slippers. This is a sign of his humility and unworthiness to offer the sacrifice, but it's not only that. It's also his acknowledgement that there is only one king in the sanctuary at this moment, and he's in that chalice. Ove sa takavor parats ver zor zoruchians. Am parts Ortnuchun i parsunas. Sirutiam, diar and meroe percini susi Christos, and vorum kesor mi anca mani vor fuit serpo maele par, ishanotion e bade, aishem e mischeva vidiana savidenis, haraotion ameneto. Now the bread and wine have been brought to the altar, brought to God, and the worshipers now are going to demonstrate how they too have been joined together by embracing each other in Christ's name. That's the kiss of peace, the Volkschuin, which has now become a stylized ceremonial form of the original, but was 
in its earliest form in all of the earliest liturgies of the Christian church. The one who gives the kiss says, Christosi mech mer haidnetzav, Christ is revealed among us, and the person who receives it answers, Ordniale haidnutunen Christosi, blessed is the revelation of Christ. Feel free to share that uh, kiss of peace with the people you're with at home.
cero peso, llevan cero peso. Mi alza y ser pasa su tiempo en el nevar. Lleva marcha cabez gochelo, agarra que la no se nieva We're hearing the beautiful hymn, Surp Surp, Holy, Holy, which is understood to be the song that the heavenly host, the army of angels, sing in praise to God for all eternity. Try to picture that as you, as you listen. What we heard just now were the very words that Jesus used at the Last Supper. Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you for the forgiveness and remission of sin. And then drink ye of this my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the remission of sin. When we hear those words intoned by the celebrant, we're hearing the voice of Jesus speaking to us through the ages.
Sarasses par et arastvans, arachen. Yeritsi shadagi sur badarak sagachen. We're listening to the intercessions when all of the great saints, martyrs, and patriarchs of the Church are remembered before God. It's been a tradition from the earliest days of the Church to also remember the local bishop or priests 
as Christ's representatives on earth. Because the Armenian Church has a supreme head, the Catholicos of all Armenians will also pray for God's blessing upon him and, of course, on the celebrant who offers this liturgy. In these intercessions, we'll hear the deacons invoke the names of Saints Thaddeus and Bartholomew, the apostles of Jesus who first brought Christianity to Armenia, and also Saint Gregory the Illuminator, Armenia's patron saint, who converted the Armenian king Durtad to the faith and ensured that Armenia would become the world's first Christian kingdom in the year of our Lord, 301.
The celebrant made the point earlier in his prayers that the patriarchs and prophets of old did not typically call God Father. It's largely through Jesus that human beings began to think of themselves as the children of God. And so, in a moment, when the church sings the Lord's Prayer, we will be privileged and honored to be allowed to call God the almighty creator of the universe, our father, or in Armenian, Hair Mer. As his children, the entire church will face the altar and pray, Hair Mer for Herginses, our father who art in heaven. Armenians typically utter these words in a distinctive prayer posture, standing, holding the palms open and lifted at chest level. The clergy, deacons, choir, and the entire congregation will sing the Lord's Prayer with great feeling and emotion. And when that happens, in just a moment, I invite you, our home viewers, to join them.
Now Bishop Mesra will bid us to sing the prayer that Jesus himself wrote and taught Heid Med. Christosi visusi deram mero an vorum kesok buit ser po yev hor amena galin va ele par gishkanochion yev bade aishum yev mishti vavitianas havitenets amen
Now the lights will dim in the sanctuary, the congregants will kneel, and we'll hear the deeply affecting hymn, Der Vohormia, Lord have mercy. It's become a very emotional moment in the worship service. The church asks God for his mercy on the sick, the grieving, the dead awaiting judgment, mercy on our individual afflictions and those endured by the entire world. There's a special poignancy in the hymn Der Vohormia in these days, of course, and especially in our holy homeland of Armenia and Artsakh, 
please include our countrymen in the homeland, especially those from Artsakh, in your prayers today.
From the depths of our neediness now, the faithful will rise to their feet as the lights brighten the sanctuary and the choir sings the hymn Ornyale Asvads, Blessed is God, which might be called the Hallelujah Chorus of the Armenian Church. It's in this aspect of joy and overcoming that we'll proceed to confession and Holy Communion. Հաջարլյացը զի ոչ ես 
Եվի բար յած գործով ես ինձ են հերացա, բա ինձ, բա ինձ, բա ինձ, զորն ասեմ, կամ զոր են խոստովանին, զիանդիվ են հանցանք իմ, անասելի են անոնությունք իմ, աններելի են ծավք իմ, եվ ամբժիշկելի են վերք իմ, մեղ աստուծո Եվ բարեխոս արմիացին որդին աստուծո, զի իշխանության պտ որ տվյալեք ես, արցակեց է զիս, իկապից մեղացի մոց, աղա չեմ ուսկես։ Դեր ողոր միա, դեր ողոր միա, դեր ողոր միա, ողոր մեսից ես մարտա� թե զոր արցակից է կերգրի եղեցի արցակյալ հերգինս։ Նով իմ պանի իմ նարցակե մսես համնայան մաստակություն է մեղաս ծերոց, ի խորորդոց, ի պանից և ի կործոց, հանուն հոր և որդվո և հոգվույն սրպով ե Երյուղի և ավատով հարաջ մատիկ և սրպությամ հաղորդե ծարով, ասացեք մեղա աստուծով, հավատամքի այրսոր ասվա ճեշմարին, հավատամ կորդին ծոր ասվա ճեշմարին, հավատամ կևի հոգին ծոր ասվա ճեշմարին, հոստովանիմ և Հավատամ, զիսա է, կենթանի և կենթանարար, մարմին և արյուն կյարըն մերո և պրջին իսուսի Քրիստոսի, որ լինի մեզ իկավություն և իտողություն մեղած, խոստովանիմ և Հավատամ։ Holy Communion is the climax of the whole liturgy, really the purpose of the Badrach. Christ invites his faithful to the spiritual banquet of Holy Communion each time we attend the Divine Liturgy. In the Armenian Church, the sacrament of Holy Communion is essential to the life of holiness and to personal salvation. It's something you can only receive in person, either in church or by arranging a visitation by a priest. And it's really the culmination, the purpose of the splendid spectacle of the Divine Liturgy. So to everyone watching at home, if you've been moved by what you've seen today and what you've heard today, please feel encouraged to seek out your local church to complete the experience of Badarak and receive Christ's body and blood. You will be most welcome to approach the Lord's altar.
We've just been through Holy Week in the Armenian Church, which is the dramatic reenactment of the events leading to the resurrection of Jesus Christ, his victory over death and the redemption of humanity and the fallen world. In the Armenian Church, we reenact these episodes in the days leading up to Easter today. Holy Week begins on Palm Sunday, which was a week ago. It continues on Holy Thursday with the dramatic Chavarum service, the vigil in darkness. And it proceeds to Holy Friday, the order of the crucifixion and the entombment of the Lord, the Tarum service. And then to Holy Saturday with a scripture reading ceremony and the Jirakaluits or lamp lighting service. And finally, the drama of Holy Week brings us to Easter Sunday, the discovery of Christ's empty tomb and the news of his glorious resurrection. Easter itself is the beginning of a 50-day period called Eastertide, or Hinunk in Armenian, which is dedicated to the mystery of the resurrected Savior and his encounters with his followers. If you're joining us, you are watching the Easter Divine Liturgy from St. Vartan Cathedral in New York City with our primate, Bishop Mesrob Parsamyan, celebrating the Holy Badarak. This is a suitable time to remind our viewers that St. Vartan Cathedral is pleased to bring you this broadcast as a gift to our devoted faithful Recent years have brought a share of hardship to us all, no doubt, but if it is in your heart, and if you have the means, please feel free to offer a voluntary gift in return. Donation links on the Eastern Diocese Facebook page and on our website, armenianchurch.us, will lead you to our secure server where your contribution will be most welcome. There in the drop-down menu, you can make a contribution to specific ministries of the diocese, to its annual appeal, and also to its Artsakh Refugee Fund, among other worthy causes. Once again, the donation link can be found at armenianchurch.us. And, of course, we are deeply grateful for your gracious generosity. Also, your comments and thoughts are dearly welcome in our online forums. People are commenting on Facebook and YouTube now. We're also up on Twitter or X. Let us know what you're thinking and feeling.
with communion still proceeding and with Bishop Mesrob's sermon in the offing, this might be a good time to offer some background about our primate, Bishop Mesrob Parsamyan. He's a native of Yerevan, Armenia, attended the Gevorgian Seminary of the Mother See of Holy Etchmiadzin, and is a member of the Mother See's monastic brotherhood. He was educated in Strasbourg and Dublin, and has served in the church in Belgium, Switzerland, and France, as well as Armenia. He first came to the United States in 2015, when he took up the pastorship of our diocesan parish in Belleville, Illinois, Holy Shohagat Church. After two years, he was called to serve at the Diocesan Center in New York as its director of ministries, and later as vicar of St. Vartan Cathedral. At the end of 2019, then Father Mesrop answered the call of His Holiness Karakin II, the Catholicos of all Armenians, to return to Armenia and take up a new role as Dean of Gevorgian Seminary. There he led the seminary through the ensuing years of trial through the pandemic and the 2020 war on Artsakh before completing his mission for Catholicos Karakin and returning to America. His election as primate took place during the 120th Diocesan Assembly in May of 2022, and with the blessing of Catholicos Karakin, he became the 13th primate of the Eastern Diocese. People will know that the promise of this new era seemed in jeopardy a mere two months later when we received the grave news that our primate had been injured in an automobile accident, suffering grievous injuries to both his legs. The outpouring of concern, affection, and prayer from people around the world was touching to behold, but by the grace of God, and thanks to expert care from medical professionals and Bishop Methro Mes Mesrob's own faithful conviction, the primate was walking again by early 2023, and even presided over last year's Christmas and Easter liturgies here at St. Vartan Cathedral. The same spirit of forward momentum would become a hallmark of the primate's leadership. As a community leader, the primate has reached out to all segments of the Armenian-American public. Throughout the tragic crisis of Artsakh, he has summoned the faithful to solidarity and an active, compassionate response, especially in the wake of the exodus of Artsakh's Armenian population to resettle as refugees in the Republic of Armenia. On October 8, 2023, Father Mesrop was consecrated as a bishop by the hand of Catholicos Karakin II at Holy Etchmiadzin. By the appointment of the Catholicos, Bishop Mesrop also serves on the Supreme Spiritual Council alongside other leaders of the worldwide Armenian Church. Here at home in the past 18 months, he has eagerly embarked on a schedule of personal visits to parishes across the diocese, Recent months have seen him inaugurate a pastoral plan for the Eastern Diocese titled Growing in Faith Together, and he has moved forward along with a team of experts and diocesan leaders on a major project to repair and restore the diocese's mother sanctuary, this great St. Vartan Armenian Cathedral, which is going on as we speak. Last summer, Bishop Mesrob launched a year-long celebration of the 125th anniversary of the founding of the Armenian Church's Diocese of America, and a special gala banquet honoring that milestone will take place at the New York Botanical Garden in the Bronx next Saturday, April 6th. It's going to be a lovely event, and you can find information about it on our internet platforms. Even in these sometimes difficult times for the Armenian people, Bishop Mesrob's positive spirit seems to have inspired a similar uplifting outlook among the faithful of our diocese, exemplified in the expressions of so many worshippers on this Easter Sunday at St. Vartan Cathedral.
This is an appropriate time to note how beautifully the St. Vartan Cathedral Choir has rendered the sacred music today. Uh, they are under the direction of Maestro Joren Mikanejan with the organist Florence Avakian, and they have been in superb voice today. Christ is risen from the dead, his resurrection of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Happy Easter to you all, whether you are here at St. Vartan Cathedral, or watching us online. Wherever you are today, we all stand as witnesses to the glory of our Lord's resurrection. Today we proclaim with the Apostle, glory to God the Father for our Lord Jesus Christ, for in his mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Christ from the dead. He has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Christ. Friends, those are the words of the Apostle Peter, who was among the first to witness the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to witness that with his own eyes, and who was amongst the first to know that the history would never be the same again. Friends, Christ's resurrection Sur Zadik, Sur Parution, is the cornerstone of our faith. It's a beacon that illuminates life in the darkest of times. It's the divine assurance that there is always the promise of renewal and redemption, no matter what we face in life. When Peter spoke about living hope, Gentani Huis, he was speaking to the heart of the Easter message. Through the resurrection, our Lord Jesus Christ did not only defeat death, he opened the door of us 
to experience a relationship with our Heavenly Father that's marked that but boundless joy and hope. Think about it for a moment, friends. The God who shaped the universe chose to step into our world, to walk in our shoes, bear our burdens, and ultimately conquer death. Why? Why did God would do that? Because of his boundless love for us. He saw us in our struggle, our pain, and our brokenness, and he said, you are my creation. I love you, and I will never abandon you. During summer break, a seminarian returns to his family home, and when they are gathered around the dinner table, he tells you his grandmother. He says, Grandma, do you recall when we were younger, you would quote from the Bible that Lord himself said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And he says, Grandma, you know, in my ancient Greek class at the seminary, I learned that in that sentence, there are five negatives. Like literally, you would say, God says, I will never, no, not ever, no, never leave you nor forsake you. And then grandma said, well, God may have to say it five times for you boys, but once is enough for me. Friends, God tells us countless times in the Bible that I will never forsake you and I will never leave you. I am with you, do not fear. Some say that he says 360 times for each day of the year. But not only in the Bible, God told us, and he says us not only in the Bible, but also in his son, Jesus Christ. Not only in words, but in his deeds. Through his resurrection, incarnation and the resurrection, our, jo our Lord Jesus Christ, he came to this world. He took our pain, our suffering, our burdens, our sin on himself, and he nailed it on the cross to give us the victory over death, the victory over despair, the victory over discouragement. And for Christ, that path inevitably took him through hardship. And the same is true for us. We all know and we all seen this very year how hard life can be. We all face trials that will shake our faith, whether as individuals, as families, or indeed as a nation. Yet against every hardship and fear stands the incredible message of Easter, that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is alive and at work in each of us every day. Friends, when you are struggling with your job, when you are facing challenges in your relationships, when you are battling illness or despair, at every low and high point of life, the power of Christ's resurrection is a constant source of strength, hope, and new beginnings. The real question every human being must face is whether or not to accept the power of the resurrection by accepting Christ's sacrifice. If you do choose to accept it, your perspective will radically change. You can never again have reason to feel discouraged or hopeless, for you will know that Christ is truly reason. He has defeated evil and overcome sin. He has annihilated death itself, and thus he has given us new, everlasting life, a living hope. Sireli Kudedi Vechwarner, Sur Zatiki Aiskida Giore, Menkamenkas Kerchageng, Sur Bedros Arakali Het, a Selov, Ortniale Astvats, Haida Meltidoch, Jesus Christosi, Vorpazum Vor Mutiam, Jesus Christosi Merel Neren Harutiam, Zanets Mez Verestin, Gentani Huisin Hamars. Sireliner, 
یه بدروس آرای کل گخوسی گنتانی هویسی ماسین گخوسی زادی کی پون باد کامی ماسین ته هاروتیام مردر یسوس کریستوس وچ میان هختهت مهوان عال پاساف ترنر وایللو آسوهت آن سهمان هویسی یه ورا خوتیان باهم مدازنگ استفاد برستخته ام پخش دی زرک استخته مس مارتوسس یکاف میراشخار مارمین آراف مزیبس آپرت چارچارفت خاچی و رخاچفت یه فاروچون آراف این چو استفاد گرنار مگوارگیان این مچ مر مخکر کافل Սագային ինչու աստուծոմիացին որդին աշխար եկավ մարմին առավ մեզպես եւ չարչարվեց ու խաչվեց եւ ինչպես մեր դեր Հիսուս Քրիստոս իրանցի վրա առավ այդ տարաբանքը չարչարանքը որ ավագ շապատավ անթացքին մենք միասին աղոթեցին հիշադագեցին խաչելությունը թաղումը սիրելիներ բողոս առաքյալը եւ բողոս առաքյալը եւ իրացիներին ուղված թղթի մեջ գսե մեր դերը այս ամենը հրավ իր արչև թրված ուրախության համար իր արչև թրված ուրախության համար իսկ որն է այդ ուրախությունը այդ ուրախությունը մենք ենք սիրելիներ այդ ուրախությունը հարության ուրախությունն է որ մեր դեր Հիսուս Քրիստոս քիդեր որ իր հարությամբ մեզալ հարության հույսը եւ ուրախությունը պիտի բարքևը եւ ադոր համար հանց նարավ ամեն չարչարանք ամեն դարաբանք ամեն նեղություն մեզ համար պատկերացրեք խաչի վրա Հիսուս իր միտքը այդ ուրախությունն էր մենք էինք մեզանից յուրաքանչյուրը թուք աստուծո ուրախությունն եք սիրելիներ եւ ուրեմն Քրիստոսի այս օրինակին հետեւելով մենք ալ սիրելիներ եւ որ մեր ցանկի մեջ դժվարության նեղության չարչարանքի մեջ ենք միշտ մտապերենք այդ ուրախությունը մեր դիրոջ Հիսուս Քրիստոսի հարության Եվ մեզ ուշ պիտի դա երբ եք հուսալքված չպիտի սկանք որովհետև գիտենք մեր դերը հաղթեց մահվանը մեր դերը հաղթեց չարին եւ մեզ տվավ հավիդենական ցանկի գենթանի հույսը եւ ուրախությունը եւ այդ ուրախությունն է որ մեր մտքի մեջ պահելով մեր սրդի մեջ պահելով կրնան ցանկի փոլոր դժվարություն նեղություն չարչարանք որպես ասկ այս դժվար օրերը երբ որ հայաստանի եւ արցախի մեջ մենք քոյապանական սպառնալիքի արջև ենք գրնանք հաղթարել այդ ուրախությամբ ներքին ուրախությամբ որը ոչ մի թշնամի չի գրնար մեզ մեխլել ոչ մեկը որովհետեւ աստծո ներգայության ուրախությունն է որովհետեւ մեր դիրոջ Հիսուս Քրիստոսի սուրբ հարության ուրախությունն է մեր սրդերու մեջ Friends our Lord Jesus Christ with his resurrection gave us the living hope and that living hope isn't meant to be a well kept secret it's meant to be shared celebrated and proclaimed out loud it's a joy that radiates from within bringing light and warmth to the coldest hearts it's a joy of knowing that no matter what happens in life we have a god who loves us relentlessly passionately and eternally we need to celebrate and to share that joy with others with our life with our behavior with our words with the life that we live if christ has done something with for us we should tell others you know after all my five surgeries when i was feeling well and i was about to leave the hospital i called the doctor i asked to see the doctor doctor said came and said father you wanted to see me i said i hugged him i thanked him and i said doctor my friends will never hear the last about you and then i realized today if we only realize what christ did for us with his crucifixion and his resurrection we'll turn to our lord and we'll say lord our friends will never hear the last about you we'll share the joy we'll share the hope that we have in our heart with my friends with people i don't know with my life i will share and bring glory to your name friends as we celebrate this easter let us embrace that living hope let us embrace that joy in our hearts in our souls 
in our minds and let us share with the world that especially today desperately needs that hope and that joy. And let us say with the Apostle, Glory to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Christ from the dead. May this truth fill your hearts with joy. And may the world see in us the living hope of Christ's resurrection, a hope that cannot be quenched, a love that cannot be contained, and a life that is truly worth living. Christ is risen from the dead. Christos hariavi merelots. Christos hariavi merelots. Christ is risen from the dead. Dear faithful, one more time, after the church service, after a few minutes, we will be leading outside where we'll be having a release of the doves, the ceremony for which years we didn't do. But because of our new primate, we will start doing the dove ceremony. I would like to, without making a noise, please go outside and stay on the plaza after that ceremony, dear faithful, we would like you to come and join us for Kabukjian Hall for special reception and house blessings. As Araruchunembech, Kekhantreng, Vorbesi, Polorat Masnaktik Mezi, Het Kabukjian Hall in Mechvara, Vorbesi Miain, Miasin Special, Yeragur Muden, Kevatke, Denorknerk Teriunena, Iskajum, Kekhantreng, Polorit, Lreliain gerbov yete garelie portseng plazan yertal ya gav nineru pats togumin hamar shnoragalutyun Gorornes ainosi gor gornenes kesver yes turbarnes asusatsiasikes
Եղիցի, եղիցի եւ եղիցի կատարում նորինաց եւ մարկարի Հիսուս ես Քրիստոս աստված ֆրգիչ մեզ, որ լցեր ծամեն այն հայրագամ դնորինությունը սխոլից եւ սմե սոկվովոդքով սրբո։ Ամեն։ Եվ եւս խաղությանը ծեր ապես սուրկը կարգեցո եւ օրմյան։ Օրտնություն եւ ֆարկ, հոր եւ օրթվո եւ օգնույն սրբո։ Այժմ եւ միշտ եւ ավիտյանը սավիտենից ամեն։ Ordinarily this would conclude the service on Easter Sunday but at St. Martin Cathedral we have an Easter tradition of holding a special ceremony on the outdoor plaza the release of doves Bishop Mesrob is going to lead the procession outside now where we too will be on hand for the conclusion of this broadcast as you can see now the doves will be released from the plaza in front of the cathedral The release of dove ceremony symbolizes Christ sending out of his apostles on his ascension to evangelize the world. For decades now it's been famous throughout New York City and greatly anticipated by many people. However, during the pandemic the dove service was suspended like so many other things, but we restored it last year and it's a great pleasure to see it again today as part of the Easter Sunday tradition at St. Vatan Armenian Cathedral. This year the godparents of the dove ceremony will be Elisa Kelesian and her family members from the New York area from our St Gregory the Enlightener parish in White Plains. You will also observe as we pull back a little bit that the cathedral stands under scaffolding today. It's been erected earlier this year as part of the major renovation and restoration project of St Vartan Cathedral. The cathedral was consecrated and in 1968 and so it's been around for almost 60 years and requires a good deal of maintenance and repair to bring it back to its pristine glory. The project will refurbish and repair the exterior of the structure before moving on to the interior of the sanctuary. And you can learn more about the project and learn how you can contribute to it. at the website of St Vartan Cathedral saintvartan.org that's s t v a r t a n .org and it looks like the dove ceremony is about to begin Is 
Isos Ariavi me relots. Isos Ariavi me relots. Christ is risen from the dead. This is the resurrection of Christ. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that concludes this year's celebration of Easter Sunday, the feast of the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ. We thank God for restoring our primate, Bishop, Mes Bishop Mesrob, to us this occasion, and our thoughts and prayers continue for him and for all who suffer in body and spirit. We are mindful today that clouds hang over our precious homeland of Armenia and Artsakh, and we will continue to pray fiercely for them to clear. But overall, it's been such a blessing to offer you this Easter broadcast from St. Vartan Cathedral. Let me thank the creative people who've helped bring it to you today. Our photographer, Harut Barsumyan, our cameraman in the sanctuary and now on the plaza, Mano Bakhjejian, and our always incredible director, Yervant Keshishyan. On this Easter Sunday, we spend, send a special greeting to our dear cathedral vicar, Father David Karamian. Our hearts and thoughts are with him today. I'm Christopher Zakian, and on behalf of St. Vartan Armenian Cathedral in New York, I want to thank you for your devotion, patience, and faith, and wish you safety, health, peace, and every blessing of Holy Easter. Christ is raised from the dead. Christos Haryav Imerelots.